fair warning. So here's the new game this is going to be started. weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? All right, hey, what's up, guys? Yusuf here from Tech Droids, and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And today's video is going to be a fun one because it's on Control, a game made by Remedy Entertainment and 505 Games in partnership with NVIDIA RTX. So this game does support RTX and it also sells as a bundle with RTX cards alongside, you know, Wolfenstein Youngblood. So if you were to buy RTX card, you do get Control and Wolfenstein Youngblood. We'll talk about the RTX capabilities and we'll also talk about the ray tracing features that this game supports and yeah, just talk about the performance with RTX off, RTX on, different presets of RTX, NVIDIA DLSS, how does that affect the performance? How does that improve the performance? And yeah, just, you know, show you guys how RTX off or on will make the game, you know, look different. Because trust me, when you turn on RTX, you just unlock a whole new world inside Control. It's a different perspective. The visuals are just too pretty and too beautiful not to turn on RTX. If you have one of these cards, it can be from the Super Series, it can be from the, you know, first generation normal RTX. All the cards will be able to, you know, give you this feature and yeah in this video let's talk about the game itself and the ray tracing part Some backstory on Control. So it's made by Remedy Entertainment, the same people who made Alan Wake, Quantum Break, and also the first and the second Max Payne. So Max Payne 1 and 2. And you can see, you know, some of the nostalgic elements in Control as well. So Control is a you know, third-person action-adventure game that combines supernatural abilities, telekinesis, and just, you know, combining the normal contemporary world and humans with some otherworldly stuff. So out of the earth stuff and yeah in the game you can see that jesse faden the lead character which you will be playing as and yeah i just love this fact about control it's not a programmed you know algorithmic game that just has to go the way and nothing interesting it's not like that you're not playing this game just to complete it and just to you know complete the missions there's a lot to discover there's a lot to explore and remedy wants you to do that there's a lot of abilities and yeah, there's just so many side quests and side missions that, you know, Remedy wants you to play. And if you are just completing the game mission by mission, you will not even come across them. So you have to go out and put the effort to explore the game, explore the world that, you know, Remedy has built for you guys. And yeah, you don't need all the abilities, the all the, you know, supernatural abilities to finish the game. Five or six is going to be enough. But yeah, if you explore, you will find some extra abilities. And as I said, there's a lot of side quests, some missions 
boss fights and things like that. You just have to put in the effort and, you know, explore. It's spooky, it's scary at sometimes, it's a mystery game. So yeah, I'll not be, you know, spoiling anything for you guys here. But yeah, it's in New York City, FBC or Federal Bureau of Control. And Jessie Faden is here for her younger brother, but once she, you know, starts exploring the place, she finds out that there's more to this place than just her younger brother. So the you know, story kind of shifts from that point. You really have to play this game. It's available on all platforms. So PS4, Xbox One, PC. So yeah, just go ahead and get your copy and start playing. Yeah, you'll you know, first start by finding the Surge weapon, which can also transform into five different things, depending upon what you want. And as I said, it's you know, user-based, so you decide what abilities and what kind of form you want to use. It depends on your fighting style. And yeah, you have the service weapon, which has unlimited ammo. And yeah, if you kind of just deplete each magazine, just go ahead and take some cover. It'll recharge and you'll have your ammo again. And this game does not have self-healing, but you can heal by killing the you know, other enemies or just the threats that come in your way. So once you kill them, they will drop some health packages, which you can take and again, increase your health. And yeah, the AI is designed in a way that the threats or the enemies will just surround you and even a single hit will take a chunk of your health. So it's not very really tough to you know, stay alive or survive in this game, but it's very easy to die as well. So you need to be running around, you know, using different abilities, different things to kind of get you know, through the game. And yeah, it's just amazing. I'm talking about the visuals of this game, even without ray tracing, the lighting is amazing. And the shadows, the reflections, the world just looks really realistic and just true to life. And you will be exploring this world as you play this game. It's a lot of fun, it's a lot of hours. So yeah, it's not a short game. And even if you're done with the, you know, main game and all the missions, the director's job never ends. So Control will always be alive and some future content for this is also going to be coming up very soon. They're already working on it. So yeah, this game technically will not end for a while, even if you finish the you know, main game and the missions and stuff like that. Think about some of the mechanics, you know, in terms of your attacks, you have melee attacks, you have launch where you can just pick up stuff and throw at, you know, enemies. You can evade that is just traveling very fast. You have shield, you have seize, and you also have that levitating ability, which I am really you know, impressed with. There is the service weapon, which can transform into a grip. That's just a normal unlimited ammo pistol. Then you have a shatter, that's gonna be a shotgun. Then you have spin. Then you have, again, pierce, that'll just put out a laser beam. Then you have charge. And yeah, it's just a whole world of different you know, perspectives, different possibilities and you have to unlock and as you go along you know playing the game you'll find many more abilities and many more things that you can use to complete the game and just explore the world so now let's talk about nvidia and how they are contributing to you know this game and how they are making it better so first up there's nvidia dlss so apart from rtx there's deep learning you know super sampling in this game which is a different level of anti-aliasing and this you know, super sampling, you know, improves the game's performance and their FPS by just two times. So if you're getting like 80 to 90 FPS, you'll start getting like 140 to 150 FPS once you turn on DLSS. Talking about the ray tracing features, you have opaque reflections, you have transparent reflections, you have contact shadows, and you have indirect diffusion. So these are some of the, you know, effects, the ray tracing effects, which you'll find, you know, everywhere throughout the game. Alright, so not only about the, you know, RTX performance of control, if you have like an RTX 2060 or 2060 Super, I'd say keep the RTX preset to medium and yeah see what works best for you what gives you the playable you know comfortable fps tinker around with the settings kind of you know untick and take different ray tracing options to get the best playable experience if you have like a 2070 or a 2070 super you could go you know full-on medium and have it all maxed out if you have like a 2080 which i had in the laptop or a 2080 ti or a 2080 super i think you should go ahead and just max out everything that rtx has to offer in control and yeah, that'll give you really good FPS. Also, NVIDIA DLSS, so deep loading super sampling is amazing. It's anti-aliasing on you know, steroids, so it improves your you know, performance, your game's performance by a whole lot. Significant you know, increase in the FPS. It not only looks at the anti-aliasing part, but also just gives you a really good you know, frame rate and just a really good playable experience.
And also a huge shout out to Dell and Alienware for providing me a machine that is able to play this game and able to play this game really well with some stunning individuals and really good performance. This right here is the Alienware Area 51M. It's Dell's flagship for 2019 and I have the highest end model here with the i9-9900K from Intel, 32 gigabytes of RAM, that's DDR4, RTX 2080, and yeah, two 512 gigabyte PCI SSDs, one terabyte you know, hard drive storage. It has 144 hertz, 1080p, HDR, and G-Sync enabled display. So a 17 inch, beautiful display. And yeah, it's just a really good laptop. It performs really well. All in all, my conclusion on control is actually very positive. I've had some time with the game, even I haven't finished it you know, to the end. I'm still working on it. I'm still playing it, having a lot of fun though. And huge thanks to NVIDIA, Remedy 505, and Dell again for making this video possible. Dell for providing me the laptop, NVIDIA, and again Remedy for providing the early access key. So I was able to have some you know, early time with this game before its launch. And yeah, it was a really fun experience. And I hope you guys enjoyed as well. I hope you guys will also be buying Control and playing it on your you know, desired platform. And if you have an RTX card, just guys, go ahead and turn on RTX and just experience control in a different way. You know? It's a different perspective. The visuals just become too beautiful, you know, not to turn on RTX. And if you don't have an RTX card, just go ahead and get one. It's definitely worth it. And control is just one game. Many games to come in the RTX environment and you'll just have a different world unlock once you turn on RTX. And yeah, these are the minimum requirements for running control. So that's that guys, I hope you And also guys, let me know in the comments down below what other videos you want to see on RTX and Control. Do you want me to upload a walkthrough or a complete gameplay? What other things you want to see about this? Yeah, just let me know in the comments down below. I'll be there replying to you guys. Let me know your thoughts on Control and RTX. Huge thanks to you guys for watching this video till the end. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.